Peso, be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not, as long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! <laughs> I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me... A stethoscope, a thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the octopod. Anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah. Oh. A tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The, the Naka what? The Nakawak. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Nakawak comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashi took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal. But none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Um, oh, I'd love to play, but I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep-sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters! Look! Over there! 
no, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi, right into that Nakawak's lair. Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Sound the Octo Alert! Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the octo alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster. It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah, we have to get back to the octopod now. Hang on. Long tail... Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto, I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. Listen, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy. But when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, my throat, it really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Whoa! A vast, it's the Nakawak, and it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the knackerwag hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a knackerwag. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <coughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah! Of course not. I only eat tiny things. And besides, I don't have any teeth. Luke! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep, my brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pinto, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Look 
these pictures coming in from Dashi? Ooh, where is she, Captain? She's exploring a strange underwater cave. There's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, it looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red and wiggly. Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because they're teeth and the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave, Peso. It's a, a whale, whale shark. shark. Dashi! Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out, now. Uh-oh, closing time. My camera. Dashi, can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm... The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. <gasps> we need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonaut, this is a whale shark. No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea. As big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashi thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate! I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashi. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gut. Week, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here, but I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashi! Dashi! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashi could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. 
The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashie's hair clipping. But Dashie must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? I guess not. <laughs> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um... Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. <laughs> oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. <laughs> this might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goody, goody, go! On your marks. Oh, goody, 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 go! Get set! Goody, go! Go! Hey, so! I got the whale shark to say, ah. Oh. You freed us! And you're the whale shark's tummy ache? Ah, cute little beast. Ooh, not so little. I can't decide which of these photos I took to send into National Geographic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. <laughs> That's it. Come on out. 
Dashie, <laughs> come in, Dashie. How's the photo assignment going? Well, I've taken some good shots. But if I want one of my photos on the cover of National Geographic, I need a really great shot. <gasps> Captain, I have to call you back. Manta rays. Incredible. into you like that. I just... Ouch! Are you all right? No. I... I think I scratched my fin. Ow! Sorry about Muriel here. For a manta ray, she's not very good at leaping. For a manta ray, she's not very good at anything. Oh, ha, ha. Very funny. Don't mind them. They're just my remora fish. Most of us manta rays have them. They ride around with me everywhere. Ow! You'd better come with me, Muriel. I know just the person who can make your fin feel better. Please do make her better, Doctor. Muriel may be clumsy, but she is our friend. Don't worry, Muriel. Your fin just needs a little slime. Slime? What you need slime for? Manta Ray's skin is protected by a layer of slime. Some of Muriel's got scratched off when she crashed into Dashi. There. Good as new. Thanks. Now, uh, got to go. I need to catch up with the other manta rays. They know the way. The way? The way to what? Every so often, we manta rays have a big feast in a special place. The secret manta ray feeding ground. I reckon nobody's ever photographed that before. How do we get there, Muriel? Um... <laughs> if you find out, be sure to tell Muriel. It's so secret, even she doesn't know where it is. Uh, I guess you could say I've never actually been there, myself, personally. <laughs> but I have to get there soon or I'll miss the big feast. In that case, we'd better help you find it. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission is to help Muriel find the secret manta ray feeding ground. Muriel, do you have any idea where it may be? Well, there is an old manta ray rhyme about it. Uh, follow the giant swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. Hmm? Hmm. Dashie, let's see the map. Ah, I don't see any rivers or swirling things on the map. Maybe we're looking at the wrong map. Let's check the storm tracker. There. That storm looks like a giant swirling thing. And we're going to follow it. Quasi, peso, dashy, into the guppe. We'd better hurry. The big feast doesn't last long. One swirling storm straight ahead. Oh, there it is! The swirling thing! Come along, everyone. Let's go! Muriel! We've got to tow her out somehow. Quasi, can you? I'm coming for you, Muriel! Wait! Don't touch her. You'll scratch off her slime. You need to make your paws soft and slimy first. I slime gloves. You take one fin, I'll take the other. <laughs> Let's go, Captain! Everyone, hang on! The engines have shut down! How will we... Whoa. Whoa. Hey, that tickles! Woohoo! Captain, the waves are filling her fins like a giant sail! Then we'd better sail this ship to safety! Grab a rope, Dashy! Who left, Captain? Make such a good sail, Muriel. I think we finally found something you're good at. Oh, is everyone okay? We're fine, Captain. But where are we? 
That storm pulled us pretty far out to sea. There's nothing around for miles. Oh, no. We're lost. <gasps> now we'll never find the secret feeding ground. Uh, Muriel, what's that you're eating? Oh, just some krill. It's what we mantas eat. There'll be tons of krill at the big feast. Something's pulling the krill away. It could be a clue. Everyone, follow those krill. We'll have to come back for the cup A later. <laughs> They're being sucked into that current. Of course. A current is like a river of fast-moving water in the ocean. Follow the great big swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. This must be it. What are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Look, more krill. We must be getting close. Hi. We are getting close to that giant breeze. Lampity flippers. The current's too strong to swim out of. Uh, we're going to crash. Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation. Shiver me whiskers. A hidden lagoon. The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means... This must be it. The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. It's like a manta ray whirlpool. That's how we manta rays eat when we all get together. Now, these are some good shots. Uh, my camera! Yeah, it's going too fast. Here, hop on, champs. Now, let's get that camera. <laughs> Almost have it. Oh. Look out! Careful where you're going. Oh dear, leave it to Muriel. This is starting to get a little rough. We need to hurry. Oh, oh, oh. Dashi, are you okay? I'm fine, but we have to help the others. What about your camera? I'll leave it. My friends come first. Uh, uh, Now for Quasi and Peso. Peso, Quasi, grab on. <laughs> grab on? Grab on to what? Ah! No! No! Should have seen that coming. Now let's get out of here. The only way out is up. Muriel, you'll have to leap over the reef. Uh, I'm not very good at leaping. We'll help you. First, you've got to dive down to build up speed. Okay, here goes. Now, up to the surface, fast. <laughs> Muriel, what's the matter? I just thought we might like a picture or two. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've got an idea for a great one. Here we go. Muriel? I guess I'm not so bad at leaping after all. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, chaps. Now that's a photo fit for the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Muriel. Did you get Muriel's good side? That's the side I'm on. No, that's the side I'm on. Octonauts, 
This is a part of the ocean no one's ever explored before. Keep your eyes open for new and unusual creatures. Quasi, let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. And Quasi, be careful. Ah, I'm always careful. Right, Peso? Look out! <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! What was that? Captain, Shellington, can you see this from our camera? Looks like some sort of undersea beach ball. Actually, it appears to be a comb jelly. You mean a jellyfish? No, comb jellies are similar, but unlike jellyfish, they don't sting. Fortunately for Quasi. Quasi? Quasi. What are you? Beast or balloon? That's one giant jelly. Captain, not much is known about comb jellies. I'd love to see it in person. And I'd love to get a close up. All right, hold on. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh no, he's hurt. Hmm, the jelly appears to have injured its comb. Comb? Yes, comb. It's made up of tiny tails that surround its body and help it swim. Hello there. Does this hurt? Hurt! Oh, sorry about that. Hurt! Hurt! Don't worry, I have just the thing for that broken comb. This waterproof ointment should make you feel better right away. Food! No, no, not food. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stop it. <gasps> oh, that tickles. The jelly not only uses its comb to swim, Peso, but also to handle food. Its little tails are tickling you. <laughs> Luckily, you're too big to be eaten. There, feel better. Better, better. Huh? My medical bag. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Over here, Captain. Uh, quasi, help! Yow! Peso, what are you doing inside that thing? Peso, inside! Inside Jelly's belly! Let him go, you bulbous beast! Wait! Don't hurt him! I'm all right. Mostly. Quasi, how did Peso get in there? Never mind that, Captain. How are we going to get him out? It may be a bit tricky. As you can see, the comb jelly is see-through. But he has several clear layers of skin surrounding a clear stomach full of water. And Peso. Go, go! No! No, go, go! No! Peso, we're trying to work out how to get you free. Stop playing around. But I'm not. Jelly, please stop. Drop! Quasi, Dashy, get the guppe. Shellington, let's go after him. I've got it! Oh! Oh, he got it all right. Dashie, get me close. Closer. Ha! Yow! I've got you! I've got you! Jelly, <laughs> stop! That's my friend! Quasi cat! Catfish! No, not a catfish. He's a. Oh, never mind. Quasi, are you okay? Just give me whiskers a moment to stop shivering. I've got him, Captain. Oh, no! They're being swept away by that current of fast water. This is getting serious. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the gups. Octonauts, Peso is stuck inside a comb jelly. And the comb jelly is stuck inside a fast-moving current. Oh, my! Oh, no! <gasps> Peso, can you hear me? Peso! It's no good, Captain. I'm just getting steady. Tweak, you stand by. We may need your help. Got it, Cap. And we'll follow that current. Please, let 
me go. Jelly, go, go! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Jelly, will you stop tickling me? We're trapped in a current and... We're going to crash! Going to splash! <laughs> I'm free! Ooh, where am I? I hope Jelly's okay. Hello, Octonauts! Can you hear me? Hello? I must be too far away for them to hear me. Right. I'm lost. What would Captain Barnacles do? <laughs> hmm. I think this way is north. And if that's north, then this must be shark. Shark! least for now. Sorry, Captain, but there's no way of knowing which way the jelly went. Hmm. We may need to bring in more gups to track Peso down, but by the time they get here, Peso could be even further away. Captain, I have another idea. Oh, Peso, me poor little penguin pal. Don't worry. I'll hunt that see-through scallywag across the seven seas and back again if I have to. Quasi. Even if it takes months. Quasi. Even if it takes years. Even if it takes... A... Quasi. Dashi may have found a way to find Peso. Well, why didn't you say so? Let's go. This is no time to sit around talking. Peso must be too far away to talk to us on his helmet radio. But if I use the gut finder map to find his radio, maybe I can make... There he is! A peso finder. Good work, Dashy. Yow! Let's go after him. Full speed ahead. That is, when you say so, Captain. Full speed ahead. Jelly, we have to get away. Big fishy want to play? No, this isn't a game. You know, Jelly, I'm beginning to think you're enjoying this jam we're in. Jelly, a jam! <laughs> it's not funny. We need to hide. Hide inside. Inside? Inside what? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Actually, I said whoa, not. Oh, wow. You can glow. Glow! 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 It looks like he's falling down some sort of tunnel. Then let's head down with him. According to your peso finder, he should drop out of that hole any moment. Octonauts, we don't have much time, so here's the plan. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> was kind of fun. Your comb looks better already. Again! Again! <laughs> Sorry, Jelly. I think I've had enough fun for one day. Maybe enough for a week. Time for a picture. It's a shame it's so dark down here. Oh, wow! Wow! wow. Jumping jellyfish! Uh, I mean, jumping comb jelly! He's like a floating light show. Jelly glue! Good work, Peso. Looks like you found a new creature and a new friend. Say Jelly! <laughs> jelly! Is there a 
doctor in the house. Oh, no. What happened to you? The reef. I got knocked off of the reef. Don't worry. My name's Peso, and I help any creature who's hurt or sick. May I examine you? Oh, so polite. I like this one. Examine away. What's going on here? <gasps> that does sound strange. We'll need to take an x-ray to see what's going on in there. Flappity flippers. There's a tiny shrimp inside you. And there's a sea star and a snail. There are all kinds of tiny creatures inside you. Of course there are. I'm a sea sponge. Oh, but I feel like there's something inside me that doesn't belong. Shellington, we need you in the sick bay right away. Oh, this is wonderful. I've never seen a finer example of commensalism. co -watalism? Commensalism. It means that all the little creatures inside the sponge get a safe place to live, even though the sponge doesn't get anything from them. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you? No, not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh, until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. <gasps> Where are we, anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, I well. say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. They're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. A room with a view. <sighs> That's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No. There's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponger scope, please. <laughs> All right. This shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little... <laughs> ...tickle. Having a look in... no? See anything yet, Peso? Aha! <laughs> Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> What are you looking at? A louse. No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. <laughs> oh, no! No way! I'm a whale louse! I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on! Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Octonauts, we have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. Both the sponge and the louse are feeling worse and worse. Ah, <laughs> oh, there be plenty of whales swimming in these waters. We'll find the nearest one and give the little castaway a home to call his own. Oh, it's not that simple, Quasi. Different kinds of whale lice live on different kinds of whale. We have to work out which whale species this louse came from. I'm running a scan now. Oh, there. Looks like this louse came from a sperm whale. There's no time to lose. Octonauts, let's do this. Don't worry.
worry. We'll have this louse out of you in no time, just as soon as we find him a sperm whale. There's something big coming up. A vast! It's a whale! Oh, but it's a blue whale, not a sperm whale. Hmm. Keep looking, everyone. There! Nope, that's a humpback whale. I knew that. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little faint. Oh, you're feeling faint. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Hurry, Captain. They're getting worse. We're coming up on another well now. Uh, I can't tell what kind it is, Captain. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, a sperm whale! Excellent. Peso, you'd better suit up and... Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, you stay away from my baby. Oh, the whale's mother. Sperm whales will do anything to protect their young. Hang on, everyone! The mother whale's not giving up! Peso, Quasi, I'll keep her distracted. You get the louse on her. But how are we going to do that? Okay, Mr. Louse, this is it. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can make it. Oh, for goodness sake. But this is where you belong, on a sperm whale. I'm just too weak. Hurry, Peso. I don't know how long I can keep her distracted. I've run into some complications, Captain. I'm going to have to perform an emergency lousectomy. Lousectomy? Lousectomy? But I'll need my medical bag. Just tell me what you need, matey! Tweezers, Quasi. I need tweezers. <laughs> now I can't see inside you, so let me know when I'm getting close. A little... a little to the left. Steady. Oh, too far left. Now to the right. Steady. You've almost got him. Steady. And... gotcha! Oh! Oh! Uh, hey! Hey! I'm home! How do you feel? Oh, now that I'm back on a whale, I feel great! Thanks, Doc! And what about you? I feel great! Captain, the louse is on the whale. I repeat, the louse is on the whale. Both he and Sponge are doing fine. Great work, Peso. This is fascinating. Another example of commensalism. The louse gets a home and the whale doesn't mind at all. But she does mind us being this close to her baby. We need to get out of here. Everybody ready? Ready. Ready, matey. Clear. Yeah. Gotcha! must have brushed against the reef here. Aye, the louse must have fallen off when the whale knocked the sponge loose. Well, now they're both back where they belong, healthy and happy and... Excuse me, got room for a few more in there? Of course, as long as you're not a whale louse, I don't mind at all. Come on, fellas, here we go. It's <laughs> <laughs> a wiggly one. <laughs> Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm 
helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike, but it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Yeah! <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> oh, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye-bye. <laughs> there he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just, um... Whale shark! Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours! Yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. <laughs> and we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. <laughs> I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Yeah. Yeah. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this... fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Cap. Whoa! <laughs> Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You've got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the gills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery tongue and grab! <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's story time. Ah. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taken forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, 
I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cool. Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah. You can do it, Peso. <sighs> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. <laughs> If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! Yow! Puffy! Hi, Sol! He's going through the sponge wall! That must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. <laughs> the whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> I can't quite reach his tail. <laughs> you can if you hold on to me. Gotcha! to watch out for really big fish. Or keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> 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 I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 